friends, this video on coal and petroleum part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Natural Resources, Exhaustible Natural Resources, Inexhaustible Natural Resources, Coal, Petroleum, Natural Gas, Judicious Use of Natural Resources. So what are natural resources? The name says natural resources, the resources which exist in nature. So these are those substances that exist in nature and they are useful to mankind. So for these substances, we cannot create them artificially. So even if we want to create them, we can't. And they tend to exist, they tend to form in nature by themselves. And they are extremely useful to mankind in many different ways. Most of them act as wonderful sources of energy. So some of the examples of natural resources are soil. And we all know how important soil is. The growth and development of plants, they are all directly dependent on soil. Soil is rich in minerals. So there is an entire ecosystem which exists within the soil. There are so many different types of living organisms living inside the soil. So soil is one such natural resource. Air. We live because we are able to breathe in. And what do we breathe? We breathe air. So air which is present around us is something which is extremely important for the survival of all types of living organisms. And do you think that we can create air? No, air is something which exists naturally. Water is another such natural resource. Forests, wildlife. So these are all examples of natural resources. Some other examples of natural resources, coal, petroleum. So these are also natural resources because we cannot create coal. We cannot create petroleum. So in this lesson, our agenda is to talk in more detail about these two natural resources that is coal and petroleum so we will see that how they are beneficial to us how do they help us now just to tell you in brief so you would have often seen that coal is being used to when you burn coal you get a lot of fire you get a lot of heat and that heat energy is utilized for many different purposes for example it is used for cooking purpose Coal is also used for generation of electricity. So the heat energy of the coal is transformed into electric energy. So that's how the energy is utilized. Petro petroleum, uh, there are so many products which are obtained from petroleum like petrol, diesel, kerosene and all of them are useful to mankind. So these types of resources are called natural resources. Now the question is, why do we talk about managing resources? Why do you would have often seen people saying that we should uh, take good care of the natural resources. We should try to not waste them. We should try to preserve them. So why do we talk about resource management? Because the resources are limited. Now, even if not all resources, but those resources which take a long time to be formed, they are, we can say that they are limited. Now, if you take examples of resources like air, water, um, or coal, petroleum, so if you compare these resources, so when you look at the availability of air, you feel that there is so much of air around us. So why do we really need to manage air? Because already plenty of it is available. Now, if you talk about coal or petroleum, now do you know how coal is formed, how petroleum is formed? Now, it is actually a very time consuming process. It takes millions of years for coal or petroleum to form. So now when you are able to prepare something over million of years, so you should not let that exhaust within a couple of years. Now, managing the resources is also important so that we can ensure equal distribution of resources to all. Now, if you see the resources, as we said, a lot of resources are limited. So now when you have something which is in limited stock, so we need to ensure that everybody gets equal share of it. Otherwise, what will happen? All of it will get consumed by a certain group of people and some other group of people will remain deprived of it. So that way we need to ensure that these resources, especially the ones which are limited, which do not, which cannot be created over and again. So those resources should be distributed equally. Protect the environment because 
making use of these resources also harm the environment in a certain way for example usage of coal petroleum so these kind of things when they are burned a lot of uh, pollution is also caused to the environment so we also need to take care that the resources are being used in such a way so that the pro environment remain protected so these are some of the reasons because of which we talk about managing the natural resource thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.